Hello, what's up, guys? I am Ashraf from TechSense. I know you all are good. So, guys, yeah, in this video, I am going to explain how you can make a NAS with this tiny little single board computer. Guys who don't know what basically NAS is, NAS is the short form of Network Attached Storage. It simply connects to your router and share files from the network attached hard drive to your computer. If you have a smartphone like iOS or Android, you can download files remotely from your NAS storage device. So if you guys want to backup all your data, you can backup all your data to the NAS. And if you have a smart TV, you can watch movies, short films, songs, pictures through remotely with this NAS. So if you want to make a NAS with this tiny little computer, stay with me. Welcome again guys, to start with you need a SD card bigger than 4GB, I have SD card of 8GB and you need an ISO of OMB for Raspberry Pi, OMB is the short form of Open Media World. To download the ISO, you have to go www.openmediaworld.org and click download then click here and click raspberry pi images and click omv3051 your download will be started shortly Guys, I have downloaded the ISO earlier, so I am going to cancel it. And here is my download. And you have to open it with the any archive manager. I have opened it with Winder and extract the ISO. So guys, I have unpacked the ISO. So now I have to write the ISO to the SD card. So guys, this is my SD card and I am going to insert it to the computer. And as you can see, I have inserted the memory card to the computer. So guys, you need two software. Number one is SD formatter and number two is Win32 Disk Manager. And as you can see, I have installed it earlier. But now I am going to show you how to install them. First, go to this website. I have given the link to the description guys as you can see guys you have to click download SD card formatter for Windows after that guys you have to install accept and download the software and after that you have to go to Win32 disk imager after that you have to go to this link I have also given the link in the description click download guys after download open and install the software <laughs> so guys guys I have installed the software earlier and first open SD formatter click yes and click option and turn on the format size as a as just and turn on the format size adjustment setting okay and click format your SD card will be formatted click exit click win32 
32 disk imager and show the directory for the image file and click right so guys this process will take a bit longer guys as you can see the process has been completed click ok and exit now your SD card is ready to get into the Raspberry Pi guys this is my Raspberry Pi 2 and this is my hard disk 614 GB that I am going to use in this tutorial and guys you should have a powered usb hub because the usb of my raspberry can't power usb hard drive because it needs about one ampere and the usb of raspberry can only power up to 1500 milliamp so guys uh, as i don't have a powered usb hub i have made a custom one this this one uh, it is just made out of atx power supply and usb cable the diagram can be found in the description so guys first I'm going to connect the USB to the Raspberry Pi and I'm going to install install the SD card in the Raspberry Pi and I'm going to power the ras power on the Raspberry Pi and also I'm going to connect the USB cable to the hard drive and now everything should be powered up as you can see guys our Raspberry Pi is going to boot up Oh, I also have forgot to connect the Ethernet cable. Yes, here is my Ethernet cable. I am going to connect it to the Raspberry Pi. Now guys the Raspberry Pi has been booked up and you have to go to your browser and click the Raspberry Pi IP for me the IP of the Raspberry Pi is 192.168.0.106 and hit enter uh, if you have a if you have a TP link router then first go to the router IP and click DHCP and DHCP client list and here you will find the Raspberry Pi P. Here I have my Raspberry Pi P and it's permanent. Then on the then on the web menu of Open Media World first select language and click enter the username. The default username is admin and the password is Open Media Vault. Click Enter. And you will enter the menu of Open Media Vault. First, now now go to the physical disk and i have found my hard disk that i have connected to the raspberry pi and go to file system and 
make sure it is mounted. And click apply, yes. And apply configuration changes. to the samba samba then guys then go to SMB CIFS and click enable and then fast create a user at I'm going to add a user at password and click save and make sure always click apply after any changes to the system. And after that go to shared folder click add and add name of the folder I'm going to name it as movies select a device and select the USB hard drive and select the path I'm going to select and click OK and save after that go and again go to SMB CIFS go to shares click add and select a folder and you have created earlier the folder movies is here and click save click apply and guys again go to user select user and click privileges and click read write or if you want to give this is a read only then click read only and if you don't want to have any access to this folder for the user click no access I'm going to use the permission read write and click save after that click apply again And guys you have finally created a NAS for your home and if you want to access the files from your Windows PC just go to the computer click network and here we will find our Raspberry Pi Oh, guys, I have forgot to enable the SMB. So, again, click enable. Oh, guys, I have forgot to enable Samba. So, again, I am going to enable it. Go to SMB. 
click enable and click save after that click apply settings will be saved and now we have our raspberry pi successfully click raspberry pi and add your user name and password click ok and guys here your file is and you can add as many files as you can and guys you have successfully created the samba server and you can use this for your backup and guys you can use this as a regular server to share movies videos pictures with your friends and family you can also access these files from iOS or Android phone simply go to the VLC media player and and go to the network and you will find your NAS thanks for watching guys if you liked our video then hit that like button and if you want to subscribe to our channel then go down and click that subscribe button and if you want to watch our previous video then click here